three quarters of a billion dollars. Coop, would you ever imagine that back in the day? <laughs> Your whole I roster didn't that make that much. Well, you no. know, it was, it was surprising when Dr. Buss signed Magic to that $25 Magic. Million. People thought, wow, that was, okay, look at the game today. <laughs> look at the money. And he kind of took a screw in Magic, yeah. if you think about it, because later in his career, he put, probably could have gotten five, ten in one year, right? Or no? Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so he, he went for stability, but I, that was like crazy $25 million. People were like, Dr. Buss is out of his mind. But you know what? Magic was worth that. And again, oh, yeah. I mean, if Jalen Brown... Yeah. Is Jalen Brown really, really putting people in the seats alone? I don't think so. I think he's yeah. doing it through the course of his team, and they yeah. got a very good basketball team. So, yep. you know, he's allowed to do that. But if you look at Magic's situation, Magic was putting people in them seats because of the From way day he one. played, the things he yeah. did. Yep. So, From day one of training camp, right? You were there that preseason, right? Where there was people the whole all ride, baby. You know, uh, it was an exhibition game. We were playing the game. Magic was just doing his thing. We were all playing and we were all relatively new, trying to find our way. First exhibition game, Kareem turns around and hits a game winner at the, what was it, the free throw line or something like that. Magic went berserk. And yeah. you know what? People hadn't seen that in the NBA. And yeah. they were very, very – that was the allure of Magic is that he brought everybody in, run, jumped in Kareem's arms, hugging Kareem, and Kareem's like, what you doing, dude? He's like, oh, we won, we won. He said, dude, you know this is an exhibition game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I loved it. I loved yeah. it. And he had oh, it's just style. crazy. In the Spencer room. Hayward was going crazy. Like, he yeah. never even smiled, you know? <laughs> Guys so never that's smiled. what Magic brought, and that's what yeah. Dr. Buss was paying for. Is Jalen Brown that? No. Can Jalen Brown score? I do think. And in today's yes. game, you know, again, the money, uh, some people may say is he's not worth it. But in today's game, he's worth it. And you give it to him. And, but again, you know, the whole pressure situation has changed for him. You're not allowed to, in a sense, and we're just saying this, he will have some bad games this season. We hope not too Well, I hope a lot. But <laughs> a lot of fans hope not too many. Well, especially have a bad game when they play the Lakers. But, uh, again, <laughs> you can't go high. You can't go high, man. You can't fake hurt because you got to play through some pain now because that's a lot of money. And you got to look at this. You know, the ordinary person will never, ever see that kind of money in his lifetime unless you hit the lottery or something like that. So people get up and go to work. They get up when they're sick. They get up when they're not feeling well. They get up when things aren't going wrong. My car has a flat tire, but I got to find a way to work. You got to get there. And that's, he has put himself in that position now. You got to come to work every single night. And with the moves they're making, they're gonna make it real hard on him. But but uh, that that okay. Speaking about Victor, that kid's gonna be good, man. Ooh, I really do believe. I, I think he's too. gonna struggle one, maybe two years. But once he figures it out, he's gonna be a good player. I think. Coop, he's got the support system in San Antonio. I mean, those guys are huddled around him, right? You see. David Robinson comes out of they 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 dust off the cobwebs off the captain, right? Bring him out. And you got or the Admiral and you got uh Tim Duncan. Duncan there and and uh, uh Ginobili. I mean everybody's there. So he's got and he's got pop. He's got pop as a coach. That's why I said, and I never ever said this. I'm I'm I just believe I never think that the NBA draft is rigged or anything like that. I just think it's a luck thing. But boy, can the luck be even more on this kid's side? When they got down to after the uh when they were pit, doing the lottery pit and San Antonio hadn't gone. And when they got to the third one, I said to myself, he's going to San Antonio. I knew it. Yeah, what a, what yeah. a great coach for him. Popovich yeah. is a great coach. You got great mentorship around mm -hmm, him. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the biggest one, yeah, you got Tony Parker, Ginobili, but the biggest three is going to be Pop, Duncan, and Robinson. They're no going to groom that kid. They're going to handle him with kid gloves, but they will be hard on him. And I think they will spend a lot of time uh, in practice, away from the, the viewing eyes and working with that kid. That's why I say, and, and that's why I think you have to add Ginobili in there because this kid here is is out of the norm. He's not that normal 7'6", seven, 7'7", seven, seven guy. Now, this kid can play. He can put the ball on the floor, so you got to put some ball handling in there. Let Ginobili work with his ball handling. I think what about, be what about having him work a little bit or, or at least talk to Ralph Sampson? I mean, I think there's a comparison there, no? Are you serious, Nick? I mean, Ralph was pretty, pretty ahead of his time in that size and everything. He was like seven four, wasn't he? No, you know what? I love Ralph Sampson. I love I know Ralph Sampson, the the guy. I love him. Ralph's been on our show. He was on very, very early. Got some things. Mm -hmm. I I saw Ralph at a signing about a month ago. 
Love Ralph Sampson. Ralph Sampson, the player? No. no I, I, Why I mean, not? What? No. <laughs> Isn't that the comparison there? Isn't that the comparison? No, there's Ralph? no comparison. Ralph can't put the ball on the floor like this and shoot and go get his missed rebound and dunk it. Ralph wasn't that kind of player. Ralph was a true back to the basket center, good passer and stuff. Again, like I said, I love. He hit a mid range shot over the Lakers, I think, in '86 that bobbled around the rim and had you on the ground. You were like oh, laying on the ground. You're gonna go there now. You're gonna go there with that now. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Speaking yeah, of okay, the Lakers, listen. If you want to add Ralph in the mix, put him in the mix, man. But All I don't right. think so. <laughs> how about uh, how about listen, the new point? No, I think in three years, this kid will have San Antonio. Playing for a Western Conference title. Oh yeah, and it, and the league will be better for it. The league's better but, when San Antonio is good. But I don't think he's the person that could do it. You got to add some pieces to him, and sure. they're gonna have to grow with him. But I don't think he's the one player. Uh, and again, I think physicality is gonna be his biggest biggest issue. Right now, they're kind of guarding him, but as the league goes on and he starts playing, I'm, uh, uh, that's gonna be a big part. But who do you play him? With, I think your normal center it doesn't do anything for him. So how yeah. do how do you guard him? How do you guard I, him? I have no idea. I mean, I I don't especially the way he can handle the ball and stretch the floor. Who do you put on him? The normal center can't really defend that far out. Not not That's efficiently. What I'm saying. Right? Yeah, the Joker I mean, can't handle him because he'll go by the Joker. Oh no, right? he'll, he'll go right by him. him. He'll go right he'll by go him. By him. Who else is there? I think I, AD will probably be the closest uh, one to be able to deal with him. A little bit, but he's shooting over AD. AD's hand's not gonna mean anything to him. That kid's seven six, seven seven, and he's looking over. Porzingis, Porzingis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to the Celtics, like we were talking about.